In the previous video, I've shown how to grab multiple elements from the page, get the inner text from each element, zip that list of values with a list of names for each property, so it's logical. Now we get an object and compute the difference with expected values. For each property, it will compare, for example, price, the current subject price with expected value. And if there are no difference, then the object produced should be empty. And it is empty. The values on the page are the same as the values we expect them to be. But sometimes we don't know the precise values of each property. For example, shipping. Shipping could be using different shipping providers. So it could be anywhere from, let's say, $5 to $10, right? We don't want to hard code the value. Once we want to compare something using a predicate, instead of hard-coded value, we probably want to convert strings to numbers in this case. So we can do it by cleaning up each um, string. So we have an array of strings and we can invoke method here for each string, replace, and we can say, well, you have a dollar sign, so replace with nothing. So notice right now the expected values actual were just strings but without a dollar sign and by the way anytime you are transforming subject through a pipeline or chain of cypress commands you can use cyprint that comes from cypress map to print the current subject so you can see it right here and you can see if you replaced it correctly another thing we want to do we probably want to map each value to a number right so now we have actual numbers now, in the real world, you probably want to use a library like dinero.js to compute and compare currencies, but in this case, we're fine for now. All right, one other thing, um, some of the fees could be negative. Imagine you have a coupon, it probably will have a discount. So instead of a price, it will probably be a negative number. So we want to probably run another replace and remove um, Actually, no, you don't want to remove uh, uh, dash, but you probably want to remove commas because sometimes numbers have formatting for triple digits. Okay, so now we can say this should be $10.99, $1.99, and the total $21.36, as expected. So now, side difference that comes from Cypress map allows you to specify a predicate. So it, let's say you don't know shipping, but you know the amount should be maybe amount more than five and amount less than 10, like I said. And, you know, empty difference. But let's say you specify a wrong amount, so it fails. The side difference will output a message for the property saying the values that 699 did not pass predicate shipping. It uses the name of a predicate. So you probably want to maybe move it to a name function. So maybe something like this, shipping price check, and put it right here. And now it will say value 699 did not pass predicate shipping price check. Okay, let's move it. Now you can create lots of synchronous predicate functions and also Cypress Lodash already includes lots of them. So for example, handling, maybe it should be a number, so you can use this, right? Maybe tips is amount, and you can say Cypress in range, and you can say amount, so between, let's say, 10 cents and $2, and comma, okay? So you can use your imagination, create small predicate functions, or use existing ones to verify each property. And if several predicates return false or the values are different, then this object will have multiple properties explaining what the problem and the error is.